Hi guys, and welcome back to Albania. If you watched our last video, we left off at the messy bridge in Skoder. Then we hopped back in the car and we were off to test to see the famous blue eye. Look at this. Wow. Now, some of you may be familiar with a famous quote by an American philosopher who said, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Well, traveling from Skoder to Theth was exactly that. We had no idea we were going to be in for such a treat. Wow, is this beautiful. And with stunning views around every hairpin turn and the occasional animal crossing, if the drive was this good, we couldn't wait to see the blue eye in the picturesque village known as Theth. So we don't usually show a lot in the car because we're really just focusing on the road, but oof, these views are beautiful and the road on the way to Theth is not too bad it's pretty uh pretty good pretty smooth right it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a good road all the way to Theth so we'll see how it actually is but so far so good awesome lots of traffic yes and the the um speed limit goes up and down a lot and there's a lot of roundabouts but it seems like it goes up and down a lot yeah, <laughs> yeah. every other sign is different yeah Look, we're, we're still trying to figure it out, but so far, so good. So yeah, as you can see here, the roads are very narrow, almost like the road was built as a single lane. So every time you met another car on the road, you had to slow down and move over right to the edge, or sometimes jam. just wait for the animals to make their way through. As we made our way higher up into the mountains, the sun seemed to light the trees on fire. They were so bright and colorful. It was beautiful. The colors are unbelievable. <laughs> so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we, we're getting yeah. fall. Fall is my favorite time of the year, and I was loving the fact that we were getting to see a fall outside of our home country. We continued to keep watch out for the livestock. Then we finally found a spot that was safe to pull over and just admire where we were. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, is this beautiful. <sighs> this is amazing. We just passed a wedding convoy up all of these switchbacks. I couldn't even imagine. Down. Uh. Holy Hannah. You can still hear them honking their horns. Wow. Uh, it's cold up here. It is. The, it's, the breeze is cool. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. But the sun is, it's a weird mixture. The sun is warm. The sun is cooking. It's yeah. Like, it's, like, it's like Cusco. Jay says it's like Cusco. That's exactly it. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. We've learned that our car doesn't quite like to go into second gear. <laughs> So that's been challenging. Now we're just coming up switchbacks. It's, it's been challenging. So we've been driving it in first, revving it and throwing it into third. <laughs> wow, these views, Beesh! The trees are like fall colors, man, amazing. The views were pretty spectacular with the jagged peaks of the mountains and the deep gorges with lush forest and the fall colors was like the cherry on top. We continued on sharing the road with oncoming traffic. Jay did an amazing job navigating the roads and the gears. We just passed a place where you can actually zip line through the Albanian Alps. Crazy. Yeah. It's only it's only 50, was it 50 meters or something? Yeah, down the valley. Into the yeah. Valley. I don't know how far. Wild. But this road into Teth has been crazy. Very narrow, lots of switchbacks and cliff, like boop, straight down. <laughs> But the views, all worth it. Unbelievable. 
As we entered into the town of Theth, you almost felt the sense of isolation amongst the natural beauty, and it didn't take us very long to figure out that Google Maps had led us down the wrong path. We're off the asphalt now and onto a very rocky road, and we've come across... That's the bridge? This bridge. It doesn't really look like it's car worthy, but... Although we did safely make it over the bridge, we went a short distance and turned around and got back onto the right path. <laughs> oh boy, always an adventure. It wasn't long until we were in an area where we could park. We paid two euros to park. We got some quick directions on how to get to the Blue Eye, and then we were on our way. Okay. Go on the right of the bridge. Okay. Okay, right of the See bridge. Yeah. yeah, and left or just straight. Okay. Okay. Where are we? <laughs> we're at the Blue Eye, finally. We're not at the Blue Eye. Well, no. We're at the parking we're lot. We're near it. We're at the parking lot for the Blue Eye. Yes. Oh my God, it's look at that water. I know, I was just gonna say that. This water is so clear. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen water this clear before. That is some clear water. Wild. This is a bouncy bridge. <laughs> so they have restaurants up over here. All right. Let's go to the Blue Eye. Yeah, let's do it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So far, it's just a uh, crushed gravel path. Big chunky rocks, kind of loose. As you can hear. As you can hear. But obviously very well defined and... Look at our surroundings, guys. You can smell like the fall leaves. The air is cool, the sun is warm. The sun's actually hot. Perfect, <laughs> it's perfect. The water is so turbulent. Holy Hannah. <laughs> it's coming down. Wild. That's pretty crazy, eh? Oh, yeah. I still can't believe how blue the water is. Like you can see it just down there, how crystal clear it is, shining in the water. Just that you got a little snippet of uh, yeah. uh, coming through the rock. Wild. And we just started the hike. <laughs> wow. Isn't that wild? This is better than the waterfall. It is a waterfall. You see how the stones are carved out from the water? They're like nice and smooth, like. Yeah. Cir circular. Wow. That's impressive, eh? Yeah. That's All a right, lot of Okay, let's go. Cool. Let's keep going. Or we're never going to get there. <laughs> we're oohing and on the first five minutes on the walk. And this is where I would suggest wearing good hiking shoes because you could really turn an ankle on this kind of terrain. I took lots of pictures along the way and I still just couldn't get over how clear the water was. It was amazing. Okay, so the last 20 minutes has been pretty much all uphill. Rocky path, lots of rocks to climb over and stuff. Um, cooler, we've gotten put on quite a bit of altitude since the last clip. Uh, we've just come across a little uh, rest stop. Looks like you can get some tea if you want it. Uh, and the view is here, pretty cool. We've got a cooler full of cold drinks. Looks like we still got a ways to go. People are heading down. Wow. That How would you like to live beautiful. in that place right there? 
can't see if I'm pointing at it in the camera. <laughs> I don't think we could have picked a better day. I know. I guess my only advice would be maybe leave a little earlier in the morning, in the morning than we did. Yeah. We had to drive here from Skoder uh, before we did the hike. And if you can be on the trail probably like nine, be much cooler. <laughs> Table for one. How you feeling, Val? We're winning. You're winning. I'm sweaty, but I'm winning. Yeah, this is rather steep. You can tell by how down those people are. It's like are. the switchbacks when we were driving here. Yeah, it's like walking switchbacks. I love the smell of the leaves. Yeah. It's like we're actually getting a fall. Definitely has that uh, fall in the forest like, kind of smell. Man, I feel like when you're, you're hiking, you have to just take a minute and look at your surroundings. You're always constantly looking at your feet all the time. Like yeah. This, this view is amazing. I agree. You find that, especially when you get to like little technical sections, there's a lot of rocks and all that kind of stuff. You'll spend a lot of time, you know, staring at the rocks and making sure you're placing your feet and all that. And then you'll kind of forget to look around and remember why you're here to begin with. Look, there's a sign. Welcome to the blue eye. <laughs> I can hear people in the distance. I can see people hiking the riverbed over there. So. We must be getting Here close. Here it is. Must oh, be getting oh. close. Look at this. Wow. Look at that walk through the forest. <laughs> through the trees here. Look how clear the water is. <laughs> Unbelievable. The Blue Eye is located in the heart of the Albanian Alps, and it's a popular spot for hikers to stop when they are exploring Seth National Park. Its serene location makes it a perfect place to stop and rest while you're having a hike and have a bite to eat. We didn't see the Blue Eye exactly as we've seen it in photos online. We thought maybe the water was just low for the month of October, but the striking colors of the icy blue waters was impressive in itself, and these brave souls taken the plunge. <laughs> I'll bundle back Hi. up. Hi! Bundle back up for the walk. Yeah. Back. The sun is starting it's funny. to creep in. Yeah. It's funny because with this one mountain, when the sun got up about one o'clock or a little before one, it totally shades this area. I think it's still going to be shaded. As it kind of goes by setting, it's creeping back towards us. So I think the sunset will go over there and we'll get some more light in a bit. But unfortunately, we were here during the shaded time. But it still looks so blue and clear. It's beautiful. It took us about 40 minutes to hike to the Blue Eye from where we parked. And there are parts of the hike that are steep and have uneven terrain. If you have a reasonable level of fitness and take breaks when you need them, it's definitely a hike that can be done. We had a great time exploring Theth, and it's located in Skoder County, and it is home to the largest national park in Albania, which houses the beautiful Albanian Alps. And if you think the views in this video were beautiful, just wait till next week when we tackle those Albanian Alps and complete the Valbona Pass. It is definitely one for the bucket list. Next week, I will share all the details of our hike and put together a complete all-in-one guide of our entire trip, places we stayed, the breakdown of costs. So if this hike has been on your list or if you're just adding it now, next week will be the video for you. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button before you go, consider subscribing and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week.